with a few pantry ingredients and some prawns if you really want to go all out, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious corn soup. So in a pot, I've just got some vegetable oil heating up. I'll add a good amount of ginger, so about a two to three centimetre piece of ginger that I've finely grated, along with one onion, and I finely chopped that. And you just want to allow them to sweat to soften. I don't want too much colour on this because I want this to be just a vibrant yellow colour because of the corn. So while that's cooking away, let's get onto the corn. This is a can of corn and it works really well in a soup like this. I've also left the brine in there because it does have that lovely sweet flavour. But because this is a cream style soup, I just want to use a stick blender to pulse this so it's slightly creamed. So in it goes. <laughs> depends on how you like your soup. If you want it to be smooth, then you can keep blending until it's quite fine or I like mine to be two textures, so I just pulse it a few times. So that's looking good. Maybe just one to two more pulses. And that will do the trick. Okay, we'll take that stick blender out. And I don't want to waste any of that, so just give that a tap. Okay, let's check the onions so they're not burning. Looking good. Just needs a little while longer. Now I'll need one chicken stock cube for this. I want to use one that is natural and also doesn't have any enhancers. So this one's great. And for one cube, you'll need about 500 millilitres of hot water. I'm adding a little more water to this because I want this to be a thinner style soup. So I've got 700 mils there and we'll just break up that cube and we'll just use a fork to break it up and just allow that to dissolve. Now this chicken stock cube already has salt in it so you don't need to add any more salt to the soup. It's also got a lovely umami flavour, it's got lots of vegetables in it too. So before we add the stock I'm just going to add our corn, so in with the onions and just scrape the base of that pot just to detach any stuck onions. We'll add our chicken stock now. And we'll stir that through and already it smells fantastic. But now all we need to do is just let that come to the boil, turn it down and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, this soup is looking good. To finish it off, I'll add some prawns. And if you want, you could just use some leftover chicken for this. Or at the beginning of this recipe, you could add some chicken. I love the sweetness of the prawns and that's why I'm adding it. And this is definitely a soup, not for an entree, but I would serve this just as a main. So the prawns don't need long at all to cook. So we'll pop them in now. And you just want to gently poach them. So I'll turn the heat down. Just give that a quick stir. I'll also add a little pinch of sugar just to balance that out. And not only that, I also want to accentuate the sweetness of the corn, so that's why I add that. And you can see it's naturally thickened because of the corn and because we've pureed it slightly. But to make it even more silky, I'm going to add an egg. This is traditional in a lot of corn soups, particularly the Chinese style ones. So one egg and I'll just whisk that roughly. And then as you stir the soup, you want to gently and slowly incorporate the egg so you'll get little strands of cooked egg. Keep stirring and you'll know it's ready when you see little strands. See there, there's some egg cooked. It is ready to go. In regards to the prawns, because they're cut so small, they are ready and they're also perfectly white. Also, by the time you serve this up and take it to the table, it'll continue cooking. So a generous bowl for this type of soup. I'll grab a ladle a generous few ladlefuls into a bowl. This has everything you want and need in a soup on a cold winter's day. Sweet corn, that lovely savoury flavour from the chicken stock. That is my version of creamed corn soup with prawns.